So hello everyone, my name is Viku Turkan and I'm here to speak why it matters, how to do and keep doing YouTube and how to avoid my mistakes, what you should know before starting a channel. So let me open my presentation. Okay. So for the last six years, I'm doing YouTube on the channel named uh, Darwin. The show is called uh, Darwin Lab. For those who don't know, Darwin is a gadget store here in Moldova and recently opened in uh, Romania. Me, the production team and the Darwin team started this channel when uh, no one was really paying attention to YouTube. We do tech reviews, life hacks, uh, crash tests. Uh, we try, uh, we test uh, uh, smart home devices, uh, electric transport, and a lot of fun stuff. This is the main rule that we have. We should uh, make the user to have fun. And also, uh, when he's looking for a gadget, he has to make uh, the right decision. Here's a video of uh, what we usually do uh, in uh, our reviews. This is uh, iPhone uh, 11 Pro crash tests. This is a Galaxy Fold. So all the cool uh, gadgets that uh, you see everywhere, we try to review them in a fun way. So as of today, we have 33 million views, 153,000 uh, uh, subscribers, and over 1.5 million hours of watch time. This is not that bad for a content made in Romanian language and specifically oriented for uh, tech fans. In this field, we are number one in the Moldovan YouTube and one of the top five channels uh, in uh, Romanian YouTube. So let's talk facts. What are the main rules that you should follow to grow your channel? First of all, there is no secret sauce that you'll pour over your videos and uh, you'll get instantly 1 million views. Don't believe anyone who's telling you that. But I'm going to tell you what we did to get to the, no, uh, to the modest numbers that we have. So the number one rule, the golden rule, is that the content is the king. There's just one question that you have to ask yourself. Why? Why people should uh, watch your videos? Did you, did you come up with something new? That should be the main rule based on which you will be building your audience and uh, make sure your content is different from others. Or uh, this could be the way you're talking, maybe a weird way of filming, maybe an unusual way of editing videos, some crazy format. Also, as soon as you start, as harder will be for others to catch up. You see, I'm telling you this because in Moldova, when we started this project, uh, there was actually no one. But now everyone is doing YouTube. Not everyone. A lot of people and companies are doing YouTube on uh, this field. The problem is that they don't come up with something new. They could have even better production than us, uh, better cameras. But the style of the video, the structure, even the type of the location is sometimes similar. So you have to be the first when you come up with something. I'm not saying you have to invent something from scratch, but make sure there is something that can separate you from other creators. Also. Your content should be made for YouTube. So what this means, making challenges, eating weird stuff, well, not necessarily. Even with the potential to hire a super professional production team, you have to engage with the audience on YouTube. The magic of YouTube is this is the one of a few platforms that can identify immediately if the content is not um, honest. If you will start to build your audience, it will grow with you. So if you're not honest with them from the scratch or maybe later you don't do that, they will notice that immediately. For example, it's very easy to identify uh, people that are not writing their own scripts. Uh, so even if uh, you are a company that wants to start a YouTube channel, make sure that you have an individual that stays in front of your content and make sure that this person knows exactly what he's talking about. Also, avoid the TV formats, avoid TV postures and don't talk to your audience like they are watching a news bulletin. Audience on YouTube is not really into that. You still have to offer quality content, but in some kind of a relaxed way. And also, if you're a brand and want to make a YouTube long term, like a separate direction of your communication, don't sell your products directly through your videos. If you're not Apple or, or Google, I don't know. Um, usually, if you're not selling your product directly, um, 
audience um, will notice that. For example, in my case with Darwin, uh, we, uh, they sell a big part of the products that I'm reviewing, but I can easily say if one product is bad or, or if someone shouldn't buy it. So this creates trust, but uh, maybe uh, this product the user will not buy, it, but maybe later they can buy another product because I am honest with the audience and uh, they can be sure of that. Also, there is a really common question in the last years. A lot of experts uh, uh, said about how much a YouTube video should last. Someone is saying that uh, they shouldn't be more than 20 minutes long. Uh, but today, content is so diverse uh, that there is a place for a three-hour video and also for a one-minute video. Uh, if you ask me, keep your video length as much as you have something to say. For example, I value the time uh, of uh, my subscribers and the, my personal idea is that the iPhone review shouldn't last more than seven minutes. I spend a lot of time trying to compress information and restructure the text so I can say as much information as possible in the shortest time. And this is actually one of the top reasons why people are watching our content. Of course, uh, if we have really something interesting to say, we can extend that to 10 and 12 minutes. So I repeat, if you can keep your audience connected for an hour, this is awesome. If not, you better start to adjust your content because if the audience is watching only 15% of your uh, content, the YouTube algorithm will notice that. And also, there's always this thing. I'm doing a lot of videos, but nobody pays attention and maybe I should uh, give up. If there's one thing that YouTube is looking from you, this is continuity. YouTube will notice you only when the algorithm will detect that uh, you post regularly and for a long period of time. This is actually one of the hardest parts and when starting and making YouTube, I'm telling you. For more than a year, you'll have to post regularly and get small amount of views and uh, maybe uh, bad feedback. That's just the way it is. But the time will come and uh, the algorithm will notice you. And at that time, if you're still making good content, you will start posting uh, and you're posting at least once a week, the audience will start to grow. So it's really hard to keep up with the good work thinking that the results will come later. And if I'm looking uh, six years ago, uh, it was uh, not that stressful because in Romanian language territory, there was no such uh, competition. So when we got like a thousand views, uh, it was <laughs> like a lot. So to better understand what I am talking about, in the first year, we made around 15 videos. And what we got was 2.8K subscribers and half a million views. In the second year, 7.9K subscribers and 1.6 million views. Third year, 26.7 thousand subscribers and 4.3 million views. Fourth year, uh, 62.1 uh, thousand subscribers and 10.5 uh, million views. In the fifth year, we passed 100 subscribers and 20 million views. So we never missed a month with less than four or five videos. And we've done this with no break for the last six years. So we needed like three years of constant working and improving our videos by a lot to see these results. And it's really interesting to look back and you see those awful videos by today's measures. But in those days, we were thinking this is the best we could possibly do. So. Don't stop, don't stop to improve and uh, keep up with the videos. You will see the audience will come by itself, but you have to be patient. Sorry. And uh, also you have uh, to have quality audience. Uh, let's not forget the, about the previous rule, the content. But in uh, our example, a lot, of, a lot of people think that only kids watch review. But because of how we make the content, the main audience are adults. This type of audience uh, has the highest uh, purchasing power. They listen very carefully to what you say. So to get that quality audience, you have to connect with them. Number of subscribers and views mean nothing if you're not engaging with the audience. So that means you have to ask uh, questions in your videos, respond to people. Uh, uh, they usually appreciate when the creator is in touch with them. 
The team at Darwin usually are taking care of all the comments. They try to respond to as much comments as possible. When I have time, I also try to reply. So the community is very strong. They feel like you are close to them. We talk, we try to listen to what they want. Uh, for example, if they want a specific re review of uh, some kind of gadget where we don't uh, find uh, in Moldova, we try to bring it from US, for example, and this is pretty hard, but they appreciate that. So this is why our top vid our videos appears on the top searches, even if we have uh, fewer views. In these examples, uh, this is a search for, uh, for example, iPhone 11 in uh, Romanian. And as you see, uh, the next videos have more views, but because the ratio of the comments is big, we appear on the um, on the top. So this is the secret. If you want to know if a channel uh, it has a live engaging audience, just look at the comment section. If there's a half a million views and 500 comments, just, just make your conclusions. Also, this interaction with your audience is very important because YouTube values the channel that keeps users more on platform so they can sell uh, more ads. And also, uh, let's say that uh, you have good content. You post videos five, six times a month, but you still don't have that breakthrough. As I said, there is a place for everyone in YouTube, but in some fields, there's a big competition. And usually if a user has never seen your content, he will choose uh, what's attractive, what, what is attractive first. So that's why you have to nail the thumbnail and the title. So for the title here you have to be delicate the title is even more important than keywords uh, tags so it has to be clear not too long catchy and uh, also to be relevant we made a few mistakes here because we tried uh, for a long time to give titles based just on keywords sometimes this works sometimes uh, not that really uh, of course you can do also clickbait but this is not the solution on the long term so you have to uh, to find balance between a relevant title and an interesting one. Try to anchor to a specific point of the video or to the basic idea of it. Also try to add something that will rank your videos uh, to your audience. For example, we try to add the, at the end of the title, the phrase in Romanian, because uh, the, there's a lot of reviews in English, but uh, not a lot in uh, Romanian language. So there's that. Also, about the uh, thumbnail. Not every good photo can be a thumbnail. It needs to draw attention, but not to uh, look too colorful or uh, desperate, I don't know. In the last years, we made uh, uh, them very clean, but we found out that uh, it, today this is not enough sometimes. So we try to add some interesting elements that uh, keeps uh, the interesting. So as you see in, uh, in this example with the Road King, and uh, this is up arena. We try to add an uh, animal around and uh, and so on. So uh, also about uh, the tags that I uh, talked recently. First tags should be also uh, the most clickable. Uh, it's something that everybody searches about the product or uh, that event that you're talking about. And uh, don't put more than 15 tags because you will confuse the YouTube um, algorithm. And the last point, this is really an important one. In today's world, more than 70% of the content on YouTube is watched from a mobile device. So you need to make sure that your content is adjusted for mobile. A lot of smartphones today have uh, tall screens and maybe you should consider uh, from the scratch uh, doing your content in the aspect 18 by nine, not 16 by nine as usual. For example, we are planning to do that, but uh, on the videos that we are still filming 16 by nine, uh, we try to um, adjust all the elements uh, in the video. As you see in this example, um, people when uh, they are watching uh, YouTube, on their phones, they see those black bars. So they try to zoom out to fill up their screens. So in this case, uh, some elements may lose in the background. So you have to check everything on a smartphone first. The same, the same is with uh, thumbnail and title. Uh, maybe all these things look cool on desktop, but uh, try to watch everything on uh, mobile also, especially the video. And lastly, just do it. It's, it's very easy to find your mistakes till you make them. That's it, guys. Thank you very much, Vico. Very interesting for uh, 
only not only for uh, for the beginners but for the ones who already have some uh, some experience yeah I, I try to put as much information as possible in the shortest time as i said <laughs> that you did a very great job and uh, yeah. i want to, to to ask you do you plan to to make content in english as well or just in romanian what do you think about the global expansion of vico furcano well i'm not sure that uh, i will make youtube content in this field in tech field because uh, youtube tech is so big that uh, um, if i will start to do youtube uh, tech in english it will be weird because usually all the top phones uh, the tech reviewers get a month or two earlier than me so either i have to come up with really uh, something special and different or uh, just uh, don't start this <laughs> Okay, uh, what do you think about the YouTube stories? Because you see they are trying to, uh, to adjust to, to what uh, Instagram and TikTok are doing. Yeah, I think that you, this is just a gimmick because uh, you usually when people uh, enter uh, YouTube, they are looking for uh, content, uh, not really vertical content. Instagram is this platform that uh, content is just consumed and then thrown away. YouTube is not really into that. We, for example, use, use uh, stories that just to announce our videos because uh, as of today, YouTube is not uh, putting his algorithm of uh, recommending stories, but uh, is showing stories of your subscribers subscriptions so the probability of uh, subscribers to notice your content is uh, bigger thank you very much a very good nice call to action just do it if you thought about starting a YouTube channel maybe it's the, the right time